Wait a minute. I know it has. Once again, my apologies. Been working. I've been TikToking. A lot of things on my TikTok. On your Merch Montage TV, if you want to go check it out, is there. However, welcome back to the channel. It's Merch Montage, M-U-R-A-C-M-O-N-T-E-Z. And what I've got for you today is some very good information that I think you'll appreciate. You know, a lot of people have been getting the vaccines. There are three of them. Actually, there are five of them, but there are only three available to us in the U.S. And I'll be letting you know what all five of those are. But as you know, there's Pfizer, there's Moderna, and there's Johnson & Johnson. Pfizer, Moderna, and Johnson & Johnson. But anyway, what I'm going to explain to you is what they do, how effective they are in the process in terms of what you have to do um, with getting each shot. So let's get into it. Okay, so first on the list we have Pfizer, created by BioNTech. I might be saying that wrong, but you know, they spelled out for you, so you can't not miss the correct pronunciation. So the status of this shot is emergency use in the United States and other countries. Now, anyone 16 and older can get this shot. Adolescents that are aged 12 to 15 are not yet authorized to receive this vaccine, but Pfizer and BioNTech are kind of working on that to see if they can, you know, get it to the younger crowd. So the company is now testing children as young as six months. So, you know, we'll see how that goes. So if you want to go with Pfizer, Pfizer's, from my understanding, and, and working in the, the various hospitals and various settings and talking with different healthcare professionals, Pfizer is like the top tier. Like it, it's the most effective, right? So if you want to get this shot, you're going to need to do two shots, 21 days apart. You'll get the first one, and then you'll wait 21 days to get the second one. So some side effects you may see. Chills. You may have a headache. Pain, maybe a little tired. Redness, swelling at the injection site. You know, small things like that. Occasionally, 11 cases in 18 million vaccinations, you might have an anaphylactic response. Hopefully not. Now, how does it work? Okay, so messenger RNA, those people that are in healthcare will, will understand when I say messenger RNA. Vaccine is what it is. So, relatively new technology. What it does, I'm just going to read it verbatim. Um, YaleMedicine.org is where this information is coming from. So, the mRNA vaccine, that is Pfizer, it delivers a tiny piece of genetic code from the SARS CoV 2 virus to host cells in the body, essentially, essentially giving those cells instructions or blueprints for making copies of spike proteins. The spikes do the work of penetrating and infecting host cells. So these proteins, they stimulate an immune response, producing antibodies and developing memory cells that will recognize and respond if the body is infected with the actual virus. So the Pfizer doesn't necessarily give you the virus per se, like a flu shot would, but replicates um, proteins on the virus so that your body can remember using the memory cells and create antibodies to deal with that virus the next time your body comes in contact with it. So how what does it work? Well, it has a 95% efficacy. And the vaccine was 100% effective at preventing severe disease. Now, I want you guys to understand something. Just because you get vaccinated, that does not mean you can't catch COVID again. What that means is that it's preventing you from having severe symptoms from COVID. All right, the second vaccine that was created 
for COVID was Moderna vaccine. Moderna's vaccine. And it has, well, when they did the clinical trials, it had about an 86% efficacy in people who are 65 years and older. Also, emergency use in the U.S. and other countries is recommended for adults that are 18 and older. And they're still testing it on children ages 20, 12 to 17 and children aged 6 months to 12 months. So this one is just the same as Pfizer. You got to get two shots. However, the, uh, the length of time that you need to wait in between shots with Moderna is a little bit longer. If we go back up, see Pfizer's was 21 days apart. Moderna is 28 days apart. You get your first shot, wait 28 days, you get your second shot. And the side effects are, are similar. Um, the chills, headache, pain, tiredness, uh, redness, swelling, injection site, possible anaphylactic response. And it, it pretty much works the same way as Pfizer sends the body's cells instructions for making a spike protein that would train the immune system to recognize it the next time it, the next time the body comes in contact with a COVID virus, it will have already created protein cells to fight the COVID virus. And as far as effectiveness, uh, the Moderna has a 94.1% uh, effectiveness at preventing symptomatic infection in people with no evidence of previous COVID-19 infection. So Pfizer is more effective. Moderna is second best in terms of efficacy. So your third shot is Johnson & Johnson. Johnson & Johnson. The one that we all kind of look at as the stepchild because nobody really wants to get the Johnson & Johnson anymore after the fact that it had so many issues and so many drawbacks. The beauty of it is that you only need one shot. However, like I said, they're having some issues with it. So, in early April, the CDC and FDA issued a joint recommendation for states to halt use of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine out of an abundance of caution during an investigation into reports of six rare but serious clotting problems among women ages 18 to 48, occurring six to 13 days after vaccination. The recommendations fell short of an order to stop using the vaccine, leaving final decisions to the individual states. So, what they are doing now is this. April the 23rd, the Food and Drug Administration ended its recommended, recommended pause on the vaccine and will add a warning label about an uncommon but potentially serious blood clotting disorder. Now, I'm no expert in the science department, even though I am a nurse. You know, creating the, I'm not expert in creating these viruses. These uh, <clears throat> I'm not expert in creating these shots. But if it looks like a duck, quacks like a duck, I think it's a duck. So in other words, what I'm telling you, my un, my professional opinion, off off the books. If I were you, I just get Pfizer. But Moderna is just as good. However, so with Johnson & Johnson, it's also an emergency use in the U.S. and other countries. Adults 18 and older recommended to get this shot. Uh, the company experts also start testing the vaccine on children. Single shot. The, in November, Johnson & Johnson announced that it will launch a second phase Three clinical trial to study using two doses uh, two months apart to see if that would work better or with that to see if it would be um, a better source of protection than just getting the single shot. In terms of side effects, you got fatigue, fever, headache, injection site, pain or myalgia, pain in a muscle or group of muscles. And it works a little bit different 
uh, than the Pfizer and the Moderna, okay? Scientists engineer a harmless endovirus, a common virus that, when not inactivated, can cause colds, bronchitis, or illnesses as a shell to carry genetic code on the spike proteins to the cells similar to a Trojan horse. The shell in the code can't make you sick, but once the code is inside the cells, the cells produce a spike protein to train the body's immune system, which creates antibodies and memory cells to protect against an actual SARS-CoV-2 infection. So we, if we travel back in the scheme of things, that okay, we just talked about the Johnson & Johnson, Pfizer and Moderna are your messenger vaccines. So the message is the genetic code for a spike protein. So when you get the injection, it's a genetic code that goes straight to your cells and it's the code for the spike protein. Say, hey, look, this is what the spike protein looks like on that COVID virus. I need you to make that, right? Remember that, get your body used to responding to that. So the next time you run into that same spike protein or that, you know, COVID-19, you know how to respond and we can beat it without, you know, getting terribly sick. Okay, that's Pfizer and Moderna. Sends a message, straight up genetic code for the spike protein. All right, Johnson & Johnson is a little different. Relatively, they do the same thing uh, in the whole scheme of things, but Johnson & Johnson is slightly different. They created an inactive virus to carry the genetic code to your cells. So it's a carrier vaccine. They created an inactive virus that's not supposed to make you sick, right? And in that inactive virus, it carries the code for the spike protein. So once you're in, so once you get injected, that you know, dead virus will float around until it meets your cell. Once it meets your cell, then it will begin to um, start the process of building spike proteins and creating memory T cells. I mean, so that's pretty much the gist of it. Pfizer, Moderna sends a genetic code to your cells. Uh, Johnson & Johnson <laughs> creates a dead virus that floats around until it meets your cells with the genetic code. Now, I said there were five um, vaccines, but we only get three here in the United States. So the other two are in the United Kingdom. Oxford, Astra, Zeneca, probably saying it wrong, and you have the, let's see, Novavax. So those two. Now, if you want me to talk about those, let me know in the comments and I will create a extended version of what I just talked about here on another video discussing those two that are in the United Kingdom. Um, they're also good against the variants that have been discovered in different areas. So like I said, if you want me to make a video about those two that maybe you haven't heard of, I can. But that's the end of the video. I hope you guys were thoroughly educated because to be honest with you, I was. For those who are still kind of on the sidelines about getting a vaccine, well, I hope this explains it very well to you. I hope this has helped you make a decision. I hope now you can enter in this whole process with a clear head and with a full understanding um, in regards to whichever one you choose because at the end of the day, you have the right to choose whichever vaccine you want. I was just shedding some light on the three that we know about, how they work, um, the process in terms of getting the shot, and how effective they are. So this is Merch Montez, M-U-R-C-M-O-N-T-E-Z. Stay tuned for my next videos coming up. Peace.